Welcome, welcome to another episode of Reading the Game! The series where I read the game, and you can listen to me read the game, and I can knock one off my 10,000 books and we learn more about our favorite games! It is a win-win for everyone! I am recording this during Spooky Month, so you are here with Witch Briny! <laughs> And today we will be looking at the Zwei Association Fixers. Let me just get out of your way so you can read along with me if you wish. And we shall read the box standard Zwei Fixer page. Yes, let us begin. There is a person or group. Is there a person or group dedicated to stopping violence or murder in the back streets? Not quite. You're on your own, unless you have money to hire fixers. Protection isn't some volunteer service you can get for free. Fixers, fixers risk their lives for it. It'll take our lives worth of money to get motivated for work. We aren't robots. If you're so afraid, why don't you hire fixers or move to a nest? You are free from all outside threats when you live in a nest. Unless the nest falls, of course. Zwei Association is your shield. We protect your family and your home from syndicates of the back streets or crazed murderers. If you have the wealth to make a direct request to the, to the association, that is. Without due payment, the association will not move. Do you believe our request fee is too expensive? And you rather request a syndicate? Hmm, while well, making a request to a syndicate is an option, we don't recommend it. We don't recommend it. The reason is obvious. No organization in the city that operates without Abiding formal procedures cannot be trusted. Yes, that checks out with what we know about syndicates so far. Given that our first wannabe syndicate tried to harvest guts, and then another one was just attempting to pay for brain juice, and another one was a syndicate turned office that was a lot of murderers. So, generally, yes, syndicates are not to be trusted. No, no, no. However, the price of anything that can be trusted may be out of everyone's reach in this sad, sad city. You do not have the money. Capitalism ho! Walter! Good old Walter. We love Walter's defensive page. But what does he actually have to say? The association handles requests often made for fixes such as security, combat, assassination, intel, painting, and trades. When there is money, there are associations, and associations follow the demand, not the other way around. Demand equals requests, and requests equals profit. It may seem too materialistic for you, but seeing how the associations work, you'll agree that money is their prime objective. For instance, the associations sort and classify every single notable event in the city. Urban myths, urban legends, urban plagues, urban nightmares, and stars of the city. Risk is not, deter what, not what determines their grade. The only question that matters is how much people are willing to pay to have the threat eliminated. Now Walter drops us some law bombs there, don't you not agree? He gives us not only the pressure of how much money matters in the city, something that surprisingly has not been touched upon too much before. Yes, we've had people struggling to survive, but we have not really been shown what one can do with such money. And now we know it's they can hire reliable people to keep them safe, yes. But he also gives us the, the classifications that we hear throughout the game. In fact, they are our levels, urban myths, urban legends, urban plagues, urban nightmares and stars of the city. It is very fascinating to hear. 
And interesting that the question only matters what people are willing to pay to have it eliminated. What does that say about the library's reputation later on in the game? How many people do want us eliminated by the end? Who oh, no. knew? This makes me dread carrying on with the game. But one must go on. I saved Julia and Isadora together because I felt that they worked together quite well. So let's read Isadora, or as I like to call her Macca from Soul Eater. San and Julia are old fixer friends of mine. San being from Streetlight Office, of course. And San's from the streets of District 21, the same place I grew up in. You grew up in this city? Shocking. I was surprised anyone can survive. This is a secret I've only told Julia, but San actually used to be a huge coward. It's probably not that surprising to you since he still acts like a coward from time to time. Thinking about the old days makes me laugh though. He'd always train himself so he doesn't lag behind and end up getting scars on his face. And one time he walked into a dark alley saying exploration shouldn't be a problem for a brave person even though his face was already full of fear. And then he ran back to me in less than a minute. Ho, 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 ho. We almost got into serious danger one time. The two of us were hanging out until after dark and ran into something nasty in a remote street. It happened when I was a little kid, so my memories of that is blurry. All I can remember is looking at Sans' back, standing in front of me, holding a tree branch as he, he hurriedly picked up. My heart was racing with fright, but looking at his shivering legs made me chuckle a little on the inside. I don't really remember what happened after that, as I said. Why am I bringing this up all of a sudden? Oh, I don't know. I was just reminded of the old image, seeing San kneel down for the sake of his office juniors. He never changes, huh? I think this is really sweet, getting some backstory here. Three people who did kind of know each other. And then kind of drifted apart, but are still reliable friends. I look forward to finding out some more friendships like this. Later in the story, I feel like Olga had one similar with the, with the, with another lady that I have not met actually. So I look forward to meeting them. However, it is time for Julia's page, yes. I still remember the day when the three of us met for the first time. It was when I joined my previous office. I was actually scared back then. It was the first workplace I was assigned to after becoming a fixer. I was hesitating in front of the glass door, wondering whether I should go in or wait for someone to open it. But then I heard a sound coming from inside. Two people arguing with each other. I decided to get to get close to the door and eavesdrop on them. How tight do the bonds between our fates have to be to lead us here? Oh, I mean, both you and I are first timers. Isn't it reassuring to be with a familiar face? Not at all. When is this Julia person coming anyway? Don't tell me she got disappointed by your pathetic impression and went back already. She's not coming in because she's intimidated by your facial expression. She gave me a glance, turned back to the tall person with an even fiercer finger than moments ago, then kicked him in the shin and came striding towards me. The tall person followed, rubbing his shin. As the person with pigtails got closer and closer, I found myself stepping backwards, even though I knew I should be saying hello to her. Soon the chime on the door rang as it opened, and we stood still for a few seconds. Like no, like, like that, not one of us saying a single word. I don't know why, but it was so funny to me that she was puckering her lips, just as hesitant to speak as I was. So I burst out laughing! <laughs> it is very sweet. I so enjoy the story of San, Julia, and Isadora. They sound like such a wonderful little trio, and it's so sad that they are all now books. Ho ho. Ho ho. Oh. 
Now this is a trio I would like to read some fanfictions about. Some really fluffy, stupid fanfictions about the three of them having each other's back. It would be glorious and lovely. And it's just heartwarming to have some nice stories in these rather than, Oh, woe is me. I have lost all my family and friends and I am poor. Yes. So the Y Association, it has d given us a lot. A treato of a nice trio relationship and some lore drops courtesy of Walter. Thank you for that Walter, we appreciate you and we appreciate you all Zwei Association. This is it, it is quite a short little reading the game today. Next time will be the Stray Dogs. Look forward to it, yes, goodbye!